Uh, we have Her Excellency the Ambassador of Finland to the United States, Ms. Kirsti Kaupi, coming to speak with us a little bit, and then her colleague here who's also hosting her, um, the Honorable Michael Windel, Honorary Council of Finland. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Great to be in San Francisco. Uh, greetings from Washington, D.C. and from Finland. Uh, I'm here in San Francisco for basically, well, for different meetings, for, but for two reasons. Uh, Finland is celebrating its centennial this year, and there are some centennial celebrations also taking place during this week here in San Francisco. The main events will be later on, especially in uh, December, when the actual Independence Day uh, takes place. Uh, but I, I'm also here because there is an event today uh, on the Nordics. Finland is one of the Nordic countries, and we are trying to sort of make sure that the Nordic brand is well known, and also the details of the Nordic approach to society and to global issues is well known. And one of the uh, sort of the, let's say, typical features of uh, Finland during these 100 years of independence but already before that. Um, and one of the most prominent features of the Nordic countries is uh, our emphasis on sustainable development. And uh, that is a long-standing tradition. It's basically because we are used to living close to the nature. We understand the importance of nature and we understand our own responsibility in making sure that uh, our environment is, um, is kept clean and sustainable also for the future generations. Now, obviously, this is a huge task and uh, we need political decision makers, but we also need innovators and companies like Neste, who are, who are making the innovations that allow uh, for new solutions that, again, make it easier also for political decision makers to, to, to make sure that the legislative framework is there for sustainable development. Um, a few words about the Finnish centennial. As I said, um, one of the very sort of important features of Finland is sustainable development. Some of the other features that I want to mention are uh, a strong emphasis on education, a strong emphasis on equality, and fourthly, a strong emphasis on global responsibility. And I think these are all very much interconnected. Um, there's a small detail that I also wanted to mention. I don't know how many of you know anything about Finland, but you probably know at least one Finnish word, and that is sauna, sauna. And there is a sauna just outside of the <laughs> building here. I don't know whether you were already explained what the purpose of the sauna is. It's a traveling sauna. And it's sort of a mascot for our centennial celebrations here in the U.S. It started off from Minnesota in January, and it's traveling all around the country to, to sort of highlight the different events that are held in different parts of the country. You can follow it online and in the social media. And, of course, it runs uh, on, on the re renewable diesel here. Uh, in California. Um, it is again a very typical, I mean, it's probably the most well-known uh, part of Finnish culture. And again, it's all about connection to nature uh, and, and, and the fact that uh, we appreciate this link to, to nature. Um, I'm very happy that you are all here, and I hope that the uh, conference is, is proving useful. Um, I think we all have a lot of work to do on sustainability and on uh, mitigating and 
and uh, fighting against climate change. And um, I think uh, in Finland, uh, the climate issue is seen um, in a broad context. Uh, if you meet the Finn in Helsinki or in a small village and ask him or her what is she or he most worried about, amongst the three most important things, he or she will certainly name climate change. I uh, wanted to bring my greetings and say how proud we are about the fact that we have companies like Neste who are making innovations which will help uh, us all uh, fight the climate change and um, help the human race to survive. Thank you.